bit there. Drop top in that whip. Hey, what's going on guys? Max here. Today we're gonna be looking at some very impressive card handlers. And by that I mean people that are amazing at cardistry. For anybody in the cardistry game or magic, industry you know that cardistry is one of the biggest things right now it's a whole industry with playing cards being made and these moves being created so it's very interesting to see and watch and for the layman it's incredible it's just like mind-blowing in my last video i talked about how monotonous activity can be a creative inhibitor but if you are looking for inspiration in social media or any type of visual media for that matter you will find it. So I was scrolling through Instagram. I just saw this guy that was literally mind blowing what he was doing with the deck of cards. I decided to make a video about it and share it with you guys. The things that these guys are doing are inspirational and sometimes a little degrading because of how good they are and that I will probably never be good as them. <laughs> yeah, without any further ado, let's just uh, see what these guys can do with a deck of cards. Okay, so the first guy we're gonna take a look at is Nikita Yatsik, Yatsik, Nikita Yatsik, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, I'll leave the Instagram uh, link to his page down below, um, you know, I only speak English and a little bit of Spanish, so hey, let's just pop right into his first video, it looks like he has some car, some American cards by anyone here, quirky, no, what? Okay, let's just watch that again. I'm just gonna make let it play again. Oh my gosh! He... Okay. First of all, I, I don't even... I can't even do a backdrop. Like, here. Like, this is what he's doing. He's doing a backdrop. I need to learn this still. It's where you, like, take the card and put it here. But he's using two cards, and somehow he's flicking them at the, both, at the same time, and craziness is happening. Let's move on to the next video. He's already, he's already shocked me from the first one. Another backdrop. <laughs> Another backdrop into a crazy, like, almost, I guess, you could, similar to the look of a worm. Ridiculous. All right, let's see what he's got here. Oh, a little tape. Oh, that's interesting. So... Another nice worm there. Yeah, so some, he's, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This compilation right here is insane. Like, I'm just, all right, that was insanely creative. No way. I don't understand how someone, like, even thinks of half of this stuff with a deck of cards. <laughs> like, that little Ace production? Well, that was for the CPC semifinal um, card destroy. Yeah, that's the name of that. That's like a subcategory of cardistry. It's called card destroy, and it's where they manipulate the cards with tape, rubber bands, or other things that you saw in that little clip. That's ridiculous. I don't understand how someone is that creative with a deck of cards and like even thinks of any of that stuff. And there was a little magic color change in there as well, like insane. How does one think of that? Here's some playing cards on fire. I guess we can take a look at that. Um. Wow, that's a pretty lit pressure fan. <laughs> okay, bad joke, bad joke. I, um, on top of how, like, dangerous that is, uh, I don't even know what to say about this, really. I want to know how he keeps the flame without burning the rest of the deck. I didn't know I was going to get into this. <laughs> what is that? I had no clue I was going to get into this craziness when I clicked on this guy's account. Because I watched the first video when I found him. And then it was like, okay, we're just 
We're gonna see what else this guy can got. He's and he's mental. He's just mental. All right. Uh, moving on from Nikita Yatsik to Elliot Slevin. Elliot Slevin. He's well known in the Magic Cardistry community, and he recently made a deck called Clouded Paper. Well, I know he does some pretty crazy stuff, so let's just see what's uh, what he's got in the couple things here. Oh, oh. So quick little one. Oh my gosh! Wait, I didn't even catch that the first time. He whips that guy around and then acts like he's gonna drop it, but then catches it right before he's gonna drop it. That's that's pretty techy stuff. Uh, next one, old table stuff. That's cool, man. That's that's really cool. Little like shift across the the table. Some some juicers here. Some one-handed cuts. Ooh. That's just so smooth. He makes it look so easy. Like it just keeps going. Like if I try that, like I can do a Charlier cut or a Revolution cut, but if I try doing like a that's that's me trying. So yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that up after the video. Moving on, let's see what else. What's what's got some aviators. Ooh. 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 Wow, that's impressive. A little like that's like a revolution cut flare burial flip in the air. I don't even know. That's that's madness. Okay. So that was Elliot Slevin. If you want to check him out, I will also leave his link in the description. Moving on to the man that I found originally, Joe Feldposh. Feldposh? Feldposh? I'm not sure he's from USA, but it does sound like a European last name. This is the original guy I found when scrolling through Instagram. I watched two of his videos and I was just like, this guy is next level and I uh, freaked out a little bit, almost wet my pants. Yeah, let's check out Joe. I think you guys are just gonna be mind blown as well. All right, I love those cards. Oh my God. What was that? Oh my gosh. He, it's just like floating on the top. But the thing is, okay, the thing is, like, yeah, you can, I've seen that move before, but that little tap that he does when he gets the other way around, like, here, look, he just like takes it, goes, and it's just like floating, I can't do it. But the little tap with his thumb, ridiculous. Let's just keep going, because I think every, I watched the first two videos, but I, I have a feeling every single one of his videos is gonna be a banger. What's he got here? Oh my. Dude, this guy, hes this is my new favorite cardist for sure. Joe, if you're ever watching, if you ever watch this video, you're amazing. All right, I don't want to take up too much. Oh, he's, oh, he's almost done. Oh, the back. <laughs> that was nuts. Like that double, he like fanned and then takes it here and goes. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, this looks insane. Let's see what this is. What the? What is that? How do you even think of that? How does that happen, dude? I don't even know. Like, all right, I'm gonna. Pause it. Like, he just takes a card, flips it. Let me watch this one more time. Like, it just looks so effortless. He just takes it, flips it over, pushes it with two fingers. Like, there's like, like that, and then it somehow just pops. <laughs> it like pops perfectly up in the air and then just lands on his hand. Then he just dumps it back. Like, I'm, I'm in astonishment right now from this guy, what he does with a deck of cards. Set and spike. Uh, oh my gosh. 
There's a fan and then just like <laughs> madness, madness. I could watch this guy all day, literally. This video might be 20 minutes long. Oh, there's this, there's Joe. Joe, okay, don't. Oh my gosh, Joe. He just flicked it up behind his back without even looking into the box. Like, you gotta be kidding me, man. You got, like, you're making us all look bad, so please take it easy, all right? Take it easy, man. Okay, I think that's gonna do it, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. If you enjoyed me reacting to these guys on Instagram, blowing our minds with cards, uh, let me know in the comments below and I can do more videos like this. But I thoroughly enjoyed myself, even though now I'm just gonna probably quit doing cardistry forever because I'll never be as good as these guys. But, but yeah, th these guys are really inspiring. To do stuff like this is just extraordinary. It's insane. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Lots of more content to come, guys. You don't want to miss, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will catch you in the next one. So...